Mr Gibson. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Billions of pounds were wasted on useless PPE, and there's no plan in place to build a, stock, a stockpile for future pandemics. In addition, there are no proper records of £3.3 billion of NHS test and trace purchases, and Number 10 has simply written off £14.9 billion of COVID supplies in the last two years. Now, democracy is about accountability. So will the Leader of the House make a statement setting out who she thinks should be held accountable for this colossal, appalling and eye-watering waste of taxpayers' money? Well, first of all, I would say to the Honourable Lady that the COVID inquiry is underway at the moment. It is obviously uh, in, in determining what particular things uh, it is going to look to. And we obviously have scrutiny uh, in this House through uh, select committees, public accounts committee most notably, on all of these matters. Uh, what I would also say to her is that products that are the bought in these circumstances do have a shelf life. Uh, and as a Member of Parliament who spent pretty much most of the first year of the pandemic every day on the phone to all colleagues, um, the, uh, the, I can tell the, the Honourable Lady that the sentiment of this House and members in it is that we moved heaven and earth to get as much PPE as we could and to get it into the front line for NHS and care staff. Um, and I would rather be answering questions uh, to the Honourable Lady uh, about uh, value for money uh, than uh, apologising to her that we didn't take those actions at the time.